Hi guys, it's Ruby the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question number 310, 319 on SOA exam P. So, pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, so assuming that you tried this problem yourself, let's dive right in. Annual, annual windstorm losses X and Y in diff, two different regions are independent and each is uniformly distributed on the interval of 0 to 10. Calculate the covariance of X and Y given that X plus Y is less than 10. Okay, well, the first thing I notice is that they say uniformly distributed on 0 to 10. So let me actually draw this picture real quick. So this is 10 and 10. So this um, probability function is exists on that area. And it's 1 over the area is our probability function. And it says calculate the covariance of x and y given that x plus y is less than 10. So I'm just going to solve this for y, so you can actually see it in slope form. So this you can see is the intercept 10 with the negative 1, 1. Ooh, I don't know how I did that. Wait, is the 10, 10. So it's going to be like this. And it's y is less than 10 minus x. So that means it's on this side right here. So this is our function, or this is our um, yeah, yeah, function given the conditions. And it says find a covariance of x and y given that function. So I remember a co covariance formula. Okay. Well, so that's equal to the expectation of x and y minus the expectation of x times the expectation of y. So with that being said, let's just dive right in. So we know the area of this function is just a triangle, right? So that's base times height divided by 2. So that's base times height, which is 100, divided by 2, which is 50. And again, our probability is just 1 over our area, so our probability function is going to be 1 over 50. And what we have, and we just have to solve this out, exy, ex, and ey individually. So exy is equal to whatever the limits may be, 1 over 50 times x and y. And I'm actually going to solve this in terms of y first, because we already solved this in terms of y. So this right here, the um, lower limit is 0, and the upper limit is this thing right here, 10 minus x, 10 minus x, dy, and in terms of dx, the range just goes from 0 to 10, 0 to 10. Okay, okay, let me check you. And we just have to solve this sucker out. I know, we love the integrals, don't we? So in terms of y, it's going to be y squared x um 50 times 2, which is 100, evaluated from 0 to 10 minus x, dx. This is equal to 0 to 10. So plugging that in for a y, then this is equal to, actually, yeah, I'm going to solve this numerator out. So that's going to be equal to 100 minus 20x plus x squared times x. So this is um, inner numerator is going to be 100x minus 20x squared plus x cubed. So this is equal to, we're solving this, I'm going to take that 100 out so it's a little bit easier, is equal to 100x minus 20x squared plus x cubed dx. Okay, now let's just integrate this sucker out. So that's x cubed 1 over 100 divided by 2, which is just 50, minus x cubed, 20 over 3, plus x fourth, 1 over 4. And this is evaluate, evaluated from 0 to 10. Okay, so this is equal to 1 over 100. Um, we can actually just simplify this to 10 squared, right? Because then you can see, oh, you know, you can see this stuff more clearly. 20 over 3. This is 10 cubed plus 1 over 4, 10 fourth. As you notice, this whole thing is multiplied by 10 over squared on the bottom, so these actually cancel out. This just becomes 1, and this just becomes 2. So then our final thing we have is 50 minus 20 over 3 times 10 plus 1 over 4 times 10 to the second, which is 100. So let me punch this into my calculator real quick. So we have 50 minus 200 divided by 3 plus 100 divided by 4 which is equal to 25 over 3. Okay 
right? So now we just have to find expectation of x, which we know is the same range, so it's going from 0 to 10. It's also going from 0 to 10 minus x of x over 50 dx. Okay, so, oh, dy dx. <laughs> so if we're solving this in terms of y, then it really doesn't matter what the x is. It's going to still be x over 50 times y, evaluated from 0 to 10 minus x. Yeah, yeah. So then I'm going to substitute that sucker in. We get 10 minus x minus, one, minus 0, which I'm not going to write, dx, 0 to 10. So this is equal to 0 to 10. Yeah, I'm going to put the 50 out here. 10x minus x squared dx equal to, we're going to integrate it, so x cubed, 10 divided by 2 is 5, minus x cubed, 1 over 3, evaluate it from 0 to 10. But because the 0 just goes to 0, I'm going to ignore that part, and then I'm going to say 1 over 50 times 500 minus 1 third thousand. The zeros cancel out. And actually, the first one is 50 divided by 5, which is just 10, minus 100 divided by 15. Agreed? Okay, let me put that into my calculator real quick. What, what, what did I say? So this is equal to 10 over 3. Okay. And actually, by symmetry, we know that expectation of y is also going to be 10 thirds, but I'll, I'll do it just in case, just to prove my point. <laughs> 0 to 10, 0 to 10 minus x, y over 50, dy dx. Okay, so this is equal to y squared over 50, oh, no, 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 I meant 100, dx, evaluated from 0 to 10 minus x. So we have, okay, I'm going to multiply this out. So 10 minus x squared is going to be 100 minus 20x plus x squared over 100 dx. I'm going to take that 100 out because, you know, it makes the math easier. It's better for my brain. And then take the dx. So that's 100x minus 20, wait, x squared over 2. 20 divided by 2 is just 10 plus x cubed, which is 1 third. 0 to 10. Okie dokie, let me jokey. We got this, we got this, totally. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. 100 times 10 minus 10 times 100. Ooh. Plus 1 third times 10 to the 3. Or I'll just write it out, it's fine. I think, I think we're smart. I think we got this. So this just cancels out. For this one, it cancels this one out. And for this one, it cancels two of them. But it still leaves one. So this is equal to 10 minus 10 plus 10 over 3. So 10 minus 10 cancels out and it equals 10 over 3. Okay, so we have all the ingredients we need going back here. So in order to find our covariance, we need your EXY, which we found to be 25 thirds. So 25 thirds minus E of X, which we found to be. 10 thirds times 10 thirds, this is our covariance by the way, which is equal to 25 over 3 minus 100 over 9. Solve that out, punch it into my calculator, my dandy handy kink calculator, and we get negative 25 over 9, which is your answer B. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Bye!